Hello students, in this video, we'll see how to use the delta method to compute approximate variances of functions of the survival function and use that to construct confidence intervals. Let's consider the Kaplan-Meier approximation which says that s n hat of y k is the product j goes from 1 to k of 1 minus s j over r j. And we have the Greenwood approximation, of variance is variance of s n hat y k is approximately s y k n hat quantity squared times the summation j goes from 1 to k s j over r j r j minus s j. So I have this homogeneous expression over here. And so what we'll do now is we'll construct a transformation of this expression over here. So we'll consider now, consider f of s n hat of y k. And this will be the natural log of negative natural log s n hat y k. And so the delta method for this tells me the variance of this expression. So the variance of f of s n hat y k is approximately f prime s n hat y k quantity squared, this is the delta method, times the variance of s n hat of y k. And what we can do with this term over here is we know how to compute this term. We can approximate this term. We can use Greenwood to approximate this. Now, what we can do is we'll have our log transformed interval. So our log transformed, I'll call this the log log transformed Confidence interval is, it'll be negative, the log of negative log of s n hat of y k, and then plus or minus the z score. That's going to be z p plus 1 over 2, where z is sampled from a normal distribution. And I'm going to have, well, I'll have the square root of the variance of s n hat of y k. I'm going to divide that by, if I take this function and differentiate it, if we do the derivative of this function, which is negative log log. So if f of x is log negative log, then the derivative of this, f prime, is 1 over log x times x with a negative 1. And so what I'll do here is, since I'm going to take the square root of this thing, I'm going to have just a log of s n y k with a hat, and then s n hat y k. And now to undo this, this is the linear confidence interval for this expression over here. So what I'll do is the first thing I'll do is I'll get rid of this first logarithm by exponentiating over here. So I'm going to exponentiate and get negative natural log of s n hat of y k doing the e over here, then the e over here will exponentiate these things. So then I'm going to have e to the plus or minus z p plus 1 over 2 square root variance s n hat y k all divided by, over here like a slash, all divided by the log of s n hat of y k times s n hat of y k. That's all in the fraction. And then I need to do one more exponential, so we'll do one more bit of 
terminology to help us with this problem. We'll take this exponential expression over here, and we'll write this either as a factor u or u to the negative 1 power. And now what I'll do is I'll negate this expression, and then I'll do one more exponential. And so what we'll have over here is we have this negative, so we can write this now as negative log Sn hat of Yk, and then either as a u on the top, or a 1 over u on the bottom. So those are the factors that are multiplied by it. And now I will negate and exponentiate again. And so, of course, what I can do is I can take this u and this u to the negative 1 and put them as powers of this exponential. So what this becomes, this becomes the natural log of the first one will get a negative sign. So what I'll do is I'll have a natural log of snyk to the power u to the negative 1. And then sn with a hat, of course, hat of yk. And then u to the positive power. And I'll exponentiate again and get the following. So our linear confidence, our log transform confidence interval will be sn yk hat to the power u to the negative 1, comma, sn hat of yk u to the power, u to the positive power. And that is our log log transform confidence interval for the Greenwood approximation of the Kaplan Meyer estimate for the survival function. Thank you very much.